Hi you guys, it's me Jen. So today I finally have this little video demo I'm going to give you on my new product I came out with called Hollow Pop Intensifying Polishing Rub and um, it's to pop your hollow even more than the hollow you already like that's blingy. It'll make it stand out even more and it also has another uh, quality that I think is really neat. It helps smooth out you know, let's be real, sometimes even with the best top coat, when you have really hungry glitters or unruly glitters, when the top coat settles in and it cures, you can still kind of feel um, not as smooth as glass. It's a little bit bumpy even though it kind of looks shiny and it, it's good, it still is really good, but for these really, really intense, rough, unruly glitters, this is the finishing touch for it, even after my other new product called Marble Plush. And that helps smooth it out too. But I'll be showing you both in this video. And so just sit back and enjoy and see if you like this. Okay, so here we go. Usually I wear my Bring It On base coat, which keeps my nails really, really white and free of staining. But when I'm in the midst of testing new formulations, I don't always use a base coat, so that's why it's stained right now. This is the product I wanted to tell you about, the Hollow Pop Intensifying Polish Rub. If you guys really want to intensify the sparkle and the rainbow effects of your hollow, this is what you'll want. It's made up of a combination of different solvents and solvent compounds. You have to rub it gently over the nail, like this, very, very gently, like pop, 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 kitty, kitty, come here, kitty, kitty. Not who's your daddy, who's your daddy, because <laughs> then it's not going to work. Um, it'll just take all your polish off. Anyway, let's get started. I am going to start off with my Bring It On base coat. So you'll put that on to protect your nail from staining. All right, so let that dry. Then I'm gonna use this for demonstration purposes. This is She Wears the Pants. It's from the Project Runway collection. It's a combination of hollow pigments and hollow micro glitters. Now, to apply, and these are really thick, one coat holographic polishes. Get a good amount on your brush and just very gently just swatch it from the cuticle down very lightly like a feather and we're gonna let that dry these dry super 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 quickly I like to just kinda go like this and just smooth them down a little bit the hollow effects are accentuated when you kinda press it down before they're totally cured do you see the difference there? now for the hollow pop I'm just gonna use a simple paper towel and so what you'll do is you'll put a couple little drops on the edge of the paper towel and you will lightly just go from the cuticle down like that. Look at that already starting to pop more. After a few seconds, the main solvent in here evaporates and then you're left with a different type of solvent for buffing. Don't buff hard because it'll take your polish right off because the polish isn't completely dry underneath yet. Do you see that? Isn't that awesome? So that's the first purpose of the hollow pop. You can apply any top coat. I recommend my Marvel top coat because it dries very, very quickly and it's super shiny, stays glossy for weeks. This stuff is amazing. And the Marvel plush is a lot like my Marvel except this will dry matte and it also smooths out glitters and make it kind of look, as Cha Cha Cake says, makes it look kind of puffy or plush. That's why I named it plush. It's like a puffiness about it. So let me show you what it does on the nail here. We've already popped our hollow. Now we're going to go over it with the Marvel Plush. It's going to dry matte. Dry, baby dry. Do you see how it looks like puffier? All right. After this dries, it's fairly smooth. Then you put your finishing top coat on. 
I like to do the marvel. When you want a glass finish, you want a freaking glass finish. Look at that shine. Beautiful. So, I think you guys are gonna love this. If you've gone to sleep at night before your manicure is totally cured, and you wake up in the morning and you're so mad because there's like these sheet prints, like look at this, look. Sheet prints, do you see that? And you're like, man, my mani's all screwed up. Easy fix. You take your hollow pop. This is the second purpose it has. So if you want to smooth out your top coat because your glitters ate through it and it's still a little bumpy, or you have sheet prints in the morning or something like that, or you mess it up, you've got a dent in it, you just put a couple drops like this and you go like this over the top coat and then don't touch it right away because it's going to be a little sticky let it dry and it is smooth as glass smooth as glass not one little ripple in it not sheet prints it won't be completely shiny but if you just want to be done with your mani you can take a little bit more of the marvel just a tiny tiny little coat just on top Alrighty, so I think that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, here's the steps. You use a good base coat, either bring it on to prevent staining, or you use a peel-off base coat if you just wanna peel it off, which, by the way, I'm working on that one too. Then you use your glitter polish or your um, hollow, chunky hollow, whatever you wanna call it. And then after that, use your hollow pop if you want to pop that hollow out even more. Then put on the Marvel Plush. And then after Marvel Plush, you put on your finishing top coat. And if that still doesn't do it for you and it's a little tiny bit bumpy or you end up with sheet prints, then you can go over it again with this hollow pop. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this demonstration. Alrighty, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.